Today we're going to be talking about aerosol drug delivery systems. There's several key points that will be generated throughout two separate recordings. One will talk about patterns of flow and how those affect delivery of the aerosolized particles. We'll talk about the difference between MDI DPI and a wet or jet nebulizer. And we'll also discuss clinical practice guidelines. The first concept I'd like you to think about is laminar flow. Laminar flow is described as a type of flow that moves in layers or streamlines. This is the type of flow that occurs through a smooth, unbranched tubes with fixed dimensions. Um, what pressure the flow delivers then depends on the viscosity of the air going through, the length of the tube, obviously the flow rate, and then it varies inversely with the radius of the tube. What we like to think about with laminar flow is that we were, if we were to double the pressure, we would get double the flow. I think of laminar flow again as smooth, even flow. Turbulent flow, on the other hand, is when form is lost. This is where there's a more irregular pattern of flow and um, the, the drawing here doesn't describe that, that, but this is when we have less smooth walled surfaces. It, it's similar to how um, water would flow around an obstacle in a river where you would get irregular currents and eddies would be formed. So turbulent flow also varies with density of the sub substance, the roughness of the tube, the length, and the radius. However, with turbulent flow, if the flow is increased, we get a much larger increase in pressure generated from this turbulent flow. So again, when I think of turbulent flow, I think of a more irregular, higher speed flow. Transitional flow is then what's found in our airways, where it's a combination of laminar and turbulent flow. The flow depends on the influence of the, of the either turbulent factors or laminar influences. The driving pressure really varies depending on the flow, and this picture here demonstrates more of what it would look like in the airway. The airflow comes in fairly laminar, maybe hits some obstructions and turns a little bit more turbulent and varies throughout the airways. With um, when we look at the differences here, um, these uh, color coatings are opposite, but the the um, the waveforms are important to understand. So here we have turbulent flow on this upper this upper square lined, and we see as we increase the flow we get large increases in pressure with turbulent flow. Whereas with laminar flow, we really get kind of an, as, as flow goes up, pressure goes up in a, in a really um, formulated or even way. I'm going to stop the recording here and we'll finish up with our next recording.